What's going on everyone? Today I'm gonna show you eight ways ChatGPT can change your life. And make sure you watch till the end because the last method is quite insane. Didn't even know ChatGPT could do this. So first off, let me show you method number one. And this is something that I feel everyone can use. And what it can do is actually summarize YouTube videos. And what do I mean by that? Do I mean copying the link? Well, it's specific to videos that have audio and people talking in a clear, concise manner. So if you're watching some sort of entertainment video with no really anybody talking, then it's probably not gonna work. But pick a video that you want to understand the main concept and you don't wanna sit here and watch. For example, this video is 18 minutes. This is a TED Talk. And I personally haven't watched this video. But what you can do is go to Depending on your screen, if you're on mobile, can't really say how to do it, but on desktop, if you click on these three dots, there's an option to show transcript. So what you do is you find the video of your choice, you click right here, and then basically just scroll down until you get to the bottom and pretty much highlight all the text that you can. So right now, just going and scrolling till I get to the very bottom, and then once I have this, which I'll go, looks like we're almost there, right here. Copy this, head over to ChatGPT, and before you paste anything, say summarize this. Shift, enter, and then paste it, and then you press enter now. And now let ChatGPT do its thing. So now, if it understands what it was asking, and all the audio it transcribed is accurate, it will summarize exactly what it is saying in the main purpose of the video. So for this video, looks like it is talking about the importance of responsibility and pretty much caring for yourself and then more details here. So you could go to any video where you can transcribe the audio, get it, copy it, paste it, boom, you just save yourself literally whatever the length of the video. For this one was 18 minutes, could do this in less than 30 seconds and I got the main idea. Now, obviously more complex stuff might be more important, but for someone's head talk, you can listen to the background, not a big deal. Now, let's go ahead and let me just go to new chat and just clean this out. The second method that you can do is actually write responses to whatever you need a response to. And I'm gonna just label this for emails, for example, because if everyone's Doing emails, some days they're like, hey, what do I want to say? Or if you're just busy, you don't want to sit there and type something out. Be like, write a response to my clients about our current situation and how we will finish the project in four weeks. And I mean, just I'm just literally freestyling this and the budget is, I don't even know, let's just put $1,000. And here, this is just literally freestyle prompt and whatever idea you obviously have for your uh, email or message, you could even say text message, it doesn't have to be email, whatever you need some sort of templated response, here you have it, and then if you do not like the way it sounds, just say rewrite this, make it sound more friendly, whatever you wanna add. And look at this, dear clients, whatever, here's your email. And then four weeks, and I mean, just looking at this, and I mean, it's it looks decent. Obviously, it's quite long. You can say shorten this to, I don't know, 300 words or 200 words or whatever you wanna do it, and then pretty much get super specific however you like with that. And then also, if you wanna text someone and you don't know what to say, say, Chad GPT, give me a response to this text, and you can actually copy and paste whatever they texted you and boom, there you go. So let's do new chat now. Method number three. This is actually something I've used it for myself. And especially if you're a content creator, which a lot of people nowadays are on all social media platforms, it doesn't apply to you. You could uh, use this for something in business, just for ideas, or in generally just writing a script. So you can say here, write a video, or write a script for a video about chat GPT. I'm just gonna use that for my prompt. Whatever prompt you wanna use, feel free to type it in. 
and then it's going to go ahead and give me some sort of little scripts and then you can specify like do you want to have other people in here you can make this into like some sort of play you can turn this into like poems you can turn this into music i mean it's use case depending on whatever you're doing literally you can ask ChatGPT, and it'll give you some sort of example just like this and this is something i've actually used not for this specific um, prompt, but just in general, getting like a script and stuff to say for other things I was doing. It literally did what I wanted to, and I just said change up the words, make it sound different, and boom, look at this. Look at this script, and you're talking about video. Now it sounds kind of, you know, robotic, but obviously you can rewrite this, your own personality, and how you sound. But literally, this would have taken me who knows how long. One, I'd have to research ChatGPT and do all these specific things, and two, to write this out myself easily could it take 15, 20, 30 minutes just to come up with something like this. So boom, save us some time there. And now let's go this one for all my coders out there and people who already probably mess with ChatGPT is it can actually write some code for you. So obviously it's not the most advanced, but if you're gonna say something basic like write um, HTML and CSS code for a nav bar menu with a home uh, services and about page and you can go crazy with whatever you want to add to it but in general it's gonna give you some sort of basic template and obviously if you're in different languages JavaScript Python other stuff you're doing I'm sure it can give you some basic code templates now here again it's not the most advanced thing yet but I'm sure in the next few years you'll see some crazy stuff you can make but for right now the code is very, very, very basic from what I'm just asking it. So don't get too crazy. Be like, hey, this is not that advanced. Of course, it's simple right now. But for just simplicity's sake, if you need something basic like this, I mean, here you go. That's what you can do with ChatGPT. So I'm going to go ahead and end this now because I've already done this a couple times. And you can pretty much see this code block. You can copy this code into your code editor. And boom, ask it whatever code you needed to write and then see if it can do something for you next one is explaining concepts this is actually something I found very interesting that really actually helped because they told me one thing that I couldn't even find on Google and then it basically explained it and it was something like years back that I don't know I guess where I was searching I couldn't find information on it but example uh, explain JavaScript as if I was a three year old and this is something because if you were to explain JavaScript to people who've studied or even just in general adults, they most likely can understand it. But if you're trying to explain something, ideally look at the way from a child and you're trying to teach them, hey, look at this. And like, for example, here it says, but it's click me, you can use JavaScript to make something happen when someone clicks the button. So that's literally the most basic way you can explain that. Sometimes they might not even know what a button is <laughs> if they're not using technology, but in general, this is something you can do, and then you can ask more details, etc., and then pretty much get it to ask you, or you can ask it whatever thing you need explanation on. The next thing is something that I haven't really used myself much, but I know a lot of people who are studying in school will probably use ChatGPT for, and that is ask help for homework and or problems. Now, Again, depending on whatever your homework assignment is, let's just say uh, something basic. Let's just do math, for example. What is the answer to this? And let's just say 23, I'm just gonna type in random numbers and let's just put like um, here and let's just say enter. And I just made that up. Obviously, I can get a calculator if I wanted to, but just as, for example purpose, let's say you have some math question, you have no idea how to do it. You could ask ChatGPT, gives you an answer, and then you can go and check your work. Or if it's like a actual like text-based answer, not math-related, something about history, science, health, whatever it is, you could ask ChatGPT. And according, as long as it's something I'm pretty sure it had, can look up online, you probably can get a response for that. And now it's gonna actually explain it too, which is, this is my first time doing this. I've got PEMDAS in there for the uh, order, which is actually good. So seeing this now, this is actually quite impressive to see explain exactly the background first, how you have to solve it. And it's not just giving you like the answer whatever the number is, like one million, whatever this, I don't even know what this um, answer is off the top of my head. But look at this, it's giving you step-by-step. Step. 
and actually explain it to you versus it just giving you a flat out answer, which is actually quite cool. Like, I wish this existed <laughs> years ago when I was studying too, but hey, future generations, they now can use this to their advantage. And that is again, another method for improving your daily life using ChatGPT. And let's go ahead and this is something I actually haven't even, well, I don't really actually need to use this, but it can actually translate stuff or you can ask it to write stuff. So like I was saying earlier, I was like, can you write, how are you, but in Japanese and question mark. So I have no idea how to write or even read it. So we'll see if this is accurate. And if it is, feel free to let me know in the comments below if you happen to know Japanese. And I've already asked it, can you speak Japanese or write it? And it wrote something in Japanese, I couldn't even read it. So let's see what it says. And maybe this might take a little bit longer, maybe because it's trying to translate this, but according, at least right now, Google Translate does pretty well when you type stuff into it. So I'm going to assume this does it too. And here it says this in Japanese letters. And I'm assuming that's Ogenki Desu Ka. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that right now, but uh, looks like it from right now, this looks pretty accurate hopefully it is if it's not completely wrong feel free to comment below but so far this looks like it's doing quite well and that could be for other stuff so if you need translation hey ChatGPT can do it or you can use google translate but this seems much cooler because it actually gives you a background and tells you only thing is if they could include audio in here then that's absolutely insane but if they don't right now they don't have audio but if they could that would be literally game changing and the last thing, this is something cool, and I didn't even know this existed until just now, but you can actually play games with ChatGPT. So if you're bored one day and you're like, hey, let's just chill, or you know, you're at a party with some friends, you're like, you wanna just do something just random as play game with AI, look at this. You can say, let's play tic-tac-toe. Now, I earlier asked, let's play a game, and it asked me like, what game you wanna play? And I mean, tic-tac-toe is probably the most famous I'd say that I could probably do on computer. I don't even know, I don't really even know a game we could play on AI computer. If there's other games you know that are somewhat interesting that isn't like basic, feel free to let me know. But pretty much what happens once this loads up, I'll show you what happens is, it's gonna say, let's play, and then it pretty much explains the instructions. So you literally just tell it like, hey, I wanna put it on, you know, top left, uh, corner or for me, I just say like one one or like one or let's say one two or I'm guessing three one I mean it depends you might have to uh, ask what it is, but Here he's gonna say I'll go first and AI is putting O in the middle according to here Yeah, so what then you'd say is like one One and I just press enter and then it's gonna go ahead and put my uh, X into the top left corner if it read that correctly. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and play this entire game with it. <laughs> gonna take forever. I might make a separate video seeing if I can beat the AI in his own tic-tac-toe game. But once this shows, I'll show you, and then after that, we can conclude this. So look like this. Now it's placing my X in the top left corner, just like I said, and boom. Now he's probably gonna put his mark over there. And this is just one of the games that of many, apparently, that you can actually play with uh, ChatGPT. So this is eight ways ChatGPT can improve your life. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. Comment out any other use cases in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.